The overall goal of this combination of standard procedures is to demonstrate how the C. elegans excretory canal can be used for the in vivo analysis of unicellular tube, intracellular lumen, and de novo polarized membrane biogenesis. This method can help answer key questions in the fields of tubulogenesis and polarity, such as how an extended intracellular lumen is stabilized or which molecules are required to expand an apical membrane. The main advantage of this model system is that a huge 2,000-fold expansion of an APCO versus a basolateral membrane can be visually checked in vivo in a single cell. Generally, individuals new to this model will struggle because the C. elegans excretory canal is very thin and sensitive to osmotic stress and to any manipulation required for imaging. This video on excretory canal tubulogenesis is accompanied by a video on intestinal tubulogenesis, mutually informative models for the in vivo analysis of polarized membrane biogenesis. With regard to labeling, the accompanying video on intestinal tubulogenesis describes the alternative labeling procedure, staining cellular components with fluorescently tagged antibodies. This technique is also applicable to the excretory canal. This video describes live imaging analysis by using animals with fluorescently labeled fusion proteins, how to construct a plasmid containing a gene of interest attached to GFP, and how to generate transgenic animals expressing a fusion protein is described in the text. The protocol also has examples of excretory canal-specific membrane markers, organelle markers,